Look, tonight we're going to start <clears throat> things off a little different. We, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's not Star Wars related, but I wanted to talk about the passing of Richard Hatch, who for uh, most of our listeners would know him as Captain Apollo from the original Battlestar Galactica. And uh, I have to say, I was quite shocked. I, I didn't realize that he was suffering from pancreatic cancer. I believe it, that was what he was battling. And when I heard the news yesterday, I was absolutely devastated. It felt like another part of my childhood that had disappeared. Oh, definitely, definitely. I, uh, yeah, like you, I had no idea he was ill. Um, I know because he was very um, busy. I know quite a few people who've actually uh, met him at uh, conventions here and overseas. Um, and yeah, he just always came across like a very, uh, you know, fit, um, lovely man. And um, the thing is, our heroes in our minds, they never change and they never age. So uh, it's always a big shock. No. Um, when when you hear anything like that, I mean, uh, uh, Richard Hatch as Captain Apollo and mm. and uh, Dirk Benedict as Starbuck. Yes. To me, um, Apollo and Starbuck were as as important as Luke and uh, Han when yeah. I was a yeah, young look, guy growing up. So. I, I'd, I'd agree with that. Like I remember seeing Battlestar Galactica for the first time on television. Uh, mm. I I do believe it had uh, a small theatrical release here in Australia. Is that correct? It did, yeah. Um, yep. It was February or March 1979. Yep. Um, why I remember that is that I was at a my friend's 12th birthday party and wow. I had to leave early mm. because um, my dad was taking me into the city yep. uh, to, the, to the George Cinema. Yep to see um, Battlestar Galactica, the movie. And wow. what was so memorable about that, it was actually in Sense Around. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, I remember which, that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <which laughs> that was cool. Which was just mind-blowing. So yeah. uh, that coupled with, you know, the visual impact of the film. And yeah. as you know, young as I was, not knowing that it was a television series or going yep. to be a television series, it was just a movie. Yes. And um, to see... You know, Colonial Vipers and Cylon Raiders they going cool. at it and sense around was just pure heaven. They were cool. And, um, yeah, it, it, I actually, you know, heaven forbid, actually thought it was as good as Star Wars when, when mm. I first saw it at that age. So, yeah. um, well, I, big it, impact on my childhood. Yep. I remember when I when I first saw it, when I was watching it on the TV, and my first thing was, I actually thought Colonial Vipers were better than X-Wings. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, and who are these Cylon dudes? And... You know, and and I love the blaster sound effects. Uh, you know that 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 the colonial guys had, and that pew yeah. pew pew, and that the little light flashing at the end like a light bulb, uh, going off. And yeah, yeah. That, and that's what I thought was cool because you didn't actually see laser beams no. as such. Um, no, and it was you know you had the flag at the at come out at the end of the barrel and yeah. and. It just added so much more to the imagination for me. It was just like That's an invisible it. laser um, blast or something that uh, was really cool. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it was just uh, an amazing um, show. And then the following year, um, it was on television mm. here in Australia. Yeah. And uh, every Saturday night, Remember Battle without Star. fail. Channel, Channel O, I think it was. Channel oh, I remember o. Channel O. Oh, no, yes. sorry, no, Channel 7. Oh, it was Channel, Channel 7. 7. Oh. It was Channel 7. Yeah, I Channel do remember 7. Channel O, though. <laughs> Yep, uh, every every Saturday night, um, yep. it was a must a must watch, watch for me, and I just couldn't believe that we were like having you know Star Wars quality type sort of television um, at the time. So um, yeah, no, like I said, uh, definitely a huge part of my growing up. There again, I was at, at that perfect age for it when it first yep. came out, when you're the old eleven or twelve years old. Yep. And uh, like you, yes, I thought Colonial Vipers were As the good. greatest uh, fighter. <laughs> Out of all of them, actually, I had a friend. Um, I have a friend at work who always said to me that uh, if he could get a lightsaber and a colonial viper, he'd be off, and you'd never see him again. So. <laughs> that would be wicked. I, I, I'd have to agree with that. I'd have the lightsaber <laughs> and the colonial viper. Uh, that would be amazing. Uh, and what, what made have. them so what made them so cool is they look so easy to fly. They do. There's three buttons, and yeah, then you've got the joystick. And you're pulling them back on the joystick. Laser, and you're gone. Bang! You know? Torpedoes, laser, thrust. That's that it. was it. That was the yeah. best thing about it. That yeah, we had it. that. And uh, but you know, Lawn Green was great. But you know, back back to Richard. You know, mm. like. He really, ma I, I have to admit, there was always, I wanted to be Apollo more than Starbuck. Like, Starbuck was cool. He was the Han Solo. But yeah. Apollo was that leader. He was very headstrong and direct. And, and Richard did 
once again, he was so amazing in that role. But, you know, every now and again, I'd watch a TV show later on in the years and I'd go, that's Apollo. So when I saw yeah. uh, MacGyver, which I'm a big fan of, there mm. was an ep- episode with him uh, in it, with Richard Hatch in it, who uh, in that episode as well, uh, I think it was Edward Mulhair, for, who yeah. was Devin Miles uh, from Knight Rider, was in that episode as well. That's so true. I had someone from Knight Rider, which was a favorite show. I had mm. There was Captain Apollo from Battlestar Galactica, and then I had Richard Dean Anderson uh, all in the one show there. And I'm like going, oh my goodness, you know, is, is Richard Hatch going to come back? And is there going to be more Battlestar? Because every time I saw him on screen, I was like, I really wanted to see him. Um, back in, in the Battlestar Galactica universe, you know, even too earlier in his career, he had he shared an episode of uh, Streets of San Francisco with yeah. Mark Hamill. Uh, I think right, the episode where I think yeah. the episode was Innocent No More, and Mark and Richard. So you had Luke Skywalker and Captain Apollo in the one episode of a TV show, like, and that and that in itself is amazing, and you know, it's yeah, little things right. like that. But it was you know, and then Richard went on to write. Battlestar Galactica novels. He became a, a published author. That's right, and he also got. He tried to get a reimagining of it, of mm. it off the ground back in the late nineties. Yep. Um, and there is on on YouTube there is his trailer. If anybody wants to have a look at it, of mm. what his vision for what uh, a new Galactica series may have been. Yeah. And um, yeah, he went all the way out and he spent his own money to uh, make a trailer for it. Yep. And um, which was shown at many conventions mm. around the place, and mm. I can remember. Um, seeing it at a con, I can't remember where it was, but mm. uh, and just being over the moon, saying yeah. this is going to happen. They're going to bring back Battlestar Galactica, <laughs> and um, of course we got. Battlestar. We all wanted it. <laughs> we got Battlestar, but not in the not in the vision that he envisioned. And, no. Um, but um, I mean, yeah, full marks to him. He yeah. uh, he was passionate passionate about getting uh, a new version of it, starring him as the uh, of course <laughs> taking over from uh, um, Lawn Green. Lawn Green's right, part, yes, that's right, and um, as well, and had like a younger, a younger crew of um, colonial warriors. That's right, uh, in it, that's and right. um, yeah, it, it just looked, you know, like it would have been the bomb. Yeah, but, um, unfortunately, it was not to be. But no. uh, yeah, now he'll always, always be Captain Apollo, uh, no Look, matter he, what. What else he's been? I mean, of course, he was. He played Zarek in um, the, the Tom, new series Tom of Star as well, and, and he I was, he was oh, he was magic in that role. I would thought he was fantastic in that role, and uh, he really, really um, embraced that no. as well. And I, and I thought he was just as, as an important character as Captain Apollo. Oh, he was region, huge. So. Yeah, it, like no, that, that Zarek character was a complete flip on who he was. You know, he went from mm. the the hero, the leader, the firm character to a very undermining, villainous role in in Tom Zarek. Because one minute you felt he was good, the next minute you felt he was really, really bad. And you know, unfortunate ending to the character, but. You know, he went in there and he gave it his all, and of course, he made a lot of friends in in that Battlestar community. Mm, and right. uh, I know Katie Sackoff put up uh, a tw- a tweet saying that she was gutted over his death. You know, a, a lost friend and and all that sort of stuff. But once again, it shows that sense of community amongst not just fandom, but that family uh, of actors when they're in a show like Battlestar. Like I say, mm. very much like when Carrie passed with Star Wars, you know, there's such an outpouring of emotion. There's a, a connection, a bond. It's like they have lost a brother, a sister, a father, an uncle, an aunt. Um, and that really, once again, it shines through. And when Richard passed away, so many people out there, you know, they were all in the same boat. Not Once again, not Star Wars related, but there was that outpouring of grief you know, people went and watched the old Battlestar. I have to admit, that's that's my thing. I, I put the original in. And I have to admit, I, I've had the Blu-ray for the original series for a, for quite a bit of time, but I've mm. never watched the movie-length premiere. Now, what I found today when I was watching part of it was there are scenes in there I've never seen before, like ever, oh, yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like mm-hmm. going, hang on a tick. That wasn't in. That's not in the VHS copy I had. No, you no, know, the, there's yeah. more of this and there's more of that, and they add yeah. a lot more depth to the story. And I'm thinking, my goodness, that's the first time I've ever heard that, and that's in the new show. So yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, well, Saga of a Star World, which is what the first three episodes was yeah. called in the, in the original series. Um, yep. you know, obviously that the Blu-ray is the television version mm. of of it, of which you get a lot more fleshed out. Whereas, mm. like the 
you know, I, I have the movie version on Blu-ray as well, yeah. and um, obviously it's tightened up uh, in, in its running time, and yep. they change a few things. Like in the movie, mm. uh, Bolto actually gets killed, um, ah. whereas in the TV show, he's they, alive. They spare his life. Yeah, he's in, alive. Well, we, in that in that scene where he would have got killed, they yep. spare his life. So there was, yep. you know, quite quite a few differences um, mm. in that regard too. But. Yep. Uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, it was just just an amazing for its time, you know. Yeah. Even so, I mean, I bought the Blu-ray of the movie because that's the that's version what you do, isn't it? That's it exactly. Well. So I have the series as well, but you, yeah. you've got to have both versions of it. So. Well, of course, of course. But yeah, I was yeah. totally in shock. But you know, it, it's it's so sad what's happened, and uh, mm. it's a big loss. And uh, you know, my my thoughts and our well, our thoughts here uh, go yeah. out to to Richard's family and and to that fan community. Definitely. And uh, of course, we we understand that loss of of losing someone close to us. And uh, I have to say, I, I've I've lost a little part of my childhood yet again, and I'm very sad yeah. that I've I've never got the opportunity to meet Richard. And I think he had been out here uh, to Australia. Uh, for for some conventions, yeah, long a few ago, years but, ago, I think he came, but came out, but yeah. with, with uh, Dirk, um, yeah. both of them came out together, and uh, so, um, and it was great. Uh, I I didn't go, but yeah, I know people who did, and um, yeah, I, I kicked myself that I couldn't get there, but, there, uh, but yeah, no, definitely, um, yeah, our heart felt, uh, you know, it just goes out to the family yes. and uh, to everybody at the moment uh, at definitely. this time. Definitely.